Hi viewers, uh, welcome to the second video of our series of lectures on genetic resources and conservation. This is our second lecture and the topic of this lecture is uh, mainly about the plant genetic resources, its importance, its meaning and the role of plant genetic resources and the sustainable use of these plant genetic resources and how we can improve the sustainability of uh, usage of the plant genetic resources. So first of all, we will see what the plant genetic resources are. Plant genetic resources are the plant genetic materials of the plant that is of any potential or actual value. Uh, more than this, the plant genetic resources also uh, mean about the also include the variability within the plants uh, that is attained by the plants due to the human or natural selection over the years. So all the variations in the genetic material of the plant and all the genes or the genetic material of the plant, it makes the plant genetic resources. And when we see that what is included in the plant genetic resources, all the nat native land races, local selections, elite cultivars or wild relatives of the crop plants, they all are included or they all make the plant genetic resources. So what is the meaning of plant genetic resources? Plant genetic resources means that information encoded by the genome because the plant genetic resources is the genetic material or the genetic material that is of any potential or actual value. So the genetic information encoded by the genome, this is also a plant, plant genetic resource and the biological mechanisms are that uh, can translate the genetic information into the phenotype like the expression of the proteins because all the expressions or all the uh, phenotypes they are shown by the proteins and which is mainly encoded by the genes so some of the phenotypes will be desirable and some of the phenotypes will not be desirable so the all the biological mechanisms that are involved in translating the genetic information into the phenotypes and the form and level of biological organization whereby the genes and phenotypes perpetuate so all the biological organizations where the genotypes, genes and the phenotypes, they just uh, uh, come continuously and they just uh, interact with each other. So they all make the plant genetic resources. So all the variations and all the information that is encoded by the genome that makes the plant genetic resource. So why the plant genetic resources are important? It is very important to study the plant genetic resources for the uh, sustainable food security and this, in this uh, we have two words one is the f sustainable and the second one is the food security sustainable means to make something continuously available for the future generations as well and the food security means the availability of the food for everyone so that everyone can get enough food for themselves so sustainable food security mean that the food is available to the current generation and to the future generations as well. So when we are thinking today about the plant genetic resources, we have to use the plant genetic resources in such a way that the food production is increased and the yield of uh, food is increased so that our future generations and future population can have enough food for themselves. Secondly, the plant genetic resources, they also uh, resolve the problem of narrow genetic base. The narrow genetic base means that uh, when the plants don't have much variability, for example, if one uh, plant is uh, just a one, when one uh, such variety of a plant is just descended from one seed. So in the one seed, there will be, uh, there won't be enough variety for the population that is just originating from one seed. And if uh, there is uh, like self crossing or there is back crossing, then the genetic variations, they are reduced in the population and which make a narrow genetic base. When the genetic variation is reduced, the adaptability to the environment is compromised. So it means that the plants or the population of the plants that have uh, less variability, they will be less adaptable to that their environment and their existence is just uh, compromised. And secondly, the value of land races in plant breeding. Now we have to see what the land races are and what the cultivars are. Maybe many of the uh, many of you will know about this difference, but some of uh, you uh, may have no idea about the land races and the cultivars. The land races are domesticated local varieties that are more adaptable to the environment, while the cultivar is a shorter form of cultivated variety. 
it this variety or the cultivars is is selectively bred to have some specific characteristics for example if you select one of the plant from a, a number of plants which have a good production or which have a good height so it depends on your desirable characteristic on which uh, basis or on which uh, phenotypic uh, characteristic you are selecting that plant so the land race is locally adopted plant while the land race is a is a selectively bred plant that has some uh, certain characteristics so uh, the value of local land races in plant breeding means that the genetic resources which also include the land races the native land races they help us in plant breeding and to improve the plants and to make the new varieties more adaptable to their environment so this was the importance of plant genetic resources next we will see the role of plant genetic resources so the plant genetic resources they are playing a key role in the natural and man made ecosystems it is said that if you grow a number of plants on uh, one specific region then uh, with the passage of time some species they will start living there and it will turn into a one specific ecosystem so the plants they are a major uh, they are very important part of that ecosystem so either it's a natural ecosystem or it's a man made ecosystem and other than this the plant genetic resources when we are using the plant genetic resources wisely we can modify the plant genetic we can modify the genetic material of the plants and we can insert some genes we can improve the genes and this can help us to get more production more desirable characteristics in the plants and that will ultimately leads towards the good economy for the humans and the third point is about the improvement in the traditional uh, agriculture systems because in the agriculture system traditionally the plants were bred uh, not because of their molecular or genetic characteristics uh, they didn't see about the markers that are uh, encoding or that are, that are linked with the good characteristics they were uh, the selection of the plants was based on the phenotypic characteristics only but the information or the knowledge of plant genetic resources will help us to improve the traditional agriculture systems and to get the plant with the desirable characteristics more quickly and the improvement of uh, crop cultivars uh, of course this will uh, help be, of course the knowledge of plant genetic resources of the plant genetic resources will help us to improve the local varieties and so that we can get more desirable characteristics and that we can get more production or more food next is the sustainable use of plant genetic resources sustainable use of plant genetic resources was the bottleneck of green revolution we will talk about the green revolutions in our in my next videos so uh, the green revolution the main focus of green revolution was to get higher yield and in this green revolution they only selected the high yielding varieties so when they selected high yielding varieties the variations in the plants was reduced which rendered the sustainable use of those high yielding varieties because those varieties were not much adaptable to the environment because of their low variations so the sustainable use of uh, this uh, genetic uh, these uh, high yielding varieties was uh, not possible so this was the bottleneck of the green revolution but the uh, modification of the genes in these high yielding varieties which can reduce the height of the plant and which can improve their adaptability to the environment it can increase the uh, sustainability of those uh, varieties that were selected in the green revolution next is the use of land race potential of course we can use the land race potential we can use their ability to adapt to the environment we can use those uh, genetic variations which can make that land race more adaptable to the environment and this will help us uh, to the sustainable uh, use of these or the sustainability of the newly developed varieties next is the yield maximization through the use of plant genetic resources by uh, using the plant genetic resources by modifying it by uh, using different breeding techniques that involves the knowledge of uh, molecular biology or that uh, involves the use of uh, uh, plant genetic resources can help us to maximize the production and will lead us with um, will uh, give us more food so that we can feed our people more betterly and we can improve the food security the fourth point for the sustainable use of plant genetic resources is stress breeding stress breeding uh, means that when you uh, breed a newly developed variety with a land race which is adaptable to that stress environment and this stress can be drought this stress can be 
salinity or any other stress that in which those local varieties or those local uh, land races they are growing when we uh, breed the newly developed variety with that land race this will lead to the uh, production of a variety that will have the good characteristics or the desirable characteristics of that newly developed variety and the uh, stress or the or the adaptability to grow in the stressed environment it will get from the land race so this is the stress breeding which makes the plant to uh, which makes the plant able to grow in the stressed environment so this was all about for the plant genetic resources uh, for more, uh, my uh, more videos please uh, stay connected and uh, subscribe my channel that is mh biology and uh, hopefully you will enjoy these videos these will be knowledgeable for you and these are specifically very important for the students who are uh, associated with the uh, studies of agriculture or for the teachers who are teaching these uh, topics so hopefully they will these uh, videos will help you a lot okay up till my next video goodbye